Steve and I are at Blythe Park in Bothell. We're gonna jump on the Sammamish River Trail, which neither of us have been on before. It should be about 22 miles round trip. We're gonna go down to Merrimore Park and then back. We'll see how it is. It's supposed to follow the Sammamish River and this was on the Rails to Trails site, but it's actually not a rail trail. It's a levee trail. After leaving the parking lot, we made a left on a little spur trail here that said to Sammamish River Trail. Short, um, 0 0.05, and we made a right on the Sammamish River Trail. So far, it's beautiful. The trail is supposed to be heavily used by both pedestrians, bicyclists, dog walkers. Um, as I said both the weekends and the weekdays. Um, so people use it as a commuter trail on the weekdays and a recreational trail on the weekends. Almost three quarters of a mile from the Blythe Park parking lot. There's another parking lot here. So if Blythe is full, which it looks like it could be, um, this is another possible option. Um, it's pretty full too, but it's good to know. And um, it's just right on the trail, has a good map. All right, so we started out at Blythe Park and we are just at that park and ride now. And the trail, the, sorry, there's a bit of glare. Um, it goes down through Woodenville, down along the Sammamish River here. And it goes all the way down into Redmond. And then it ends. Actually, it doesn't end and it goes to the Merrimore Park. That's our end for today, but I believe it ties into the Burt Gilman Trail as well, somewhere in here. Three quarters of a mile in, going under a bridge. There's that beautiful river. We're gonna cross it. We're down the other side of the river. Really pretty. And if we are actually alongside of a road right now, I can see the trail goes to the other side, it looks like, here, but it doesn't look like it's super well marked. 1.5, we're still on that road. We're actually on the road because there was so much oncoming bicycle traffic on the trail, which we can see on the left, um, but that is signed for both directions. This uh, street is um, about to end, actually, so no traffic, but there could be minimal traffic when you're on it and I see it's about to turn back into the trail here. 1.67, we're just crossing a little bridge here. And we're getting closer to um, 405 traffic up ahead. And I've actually gone past this trail so many times in my car and wondered where it went. Just coming up on 405. There's the big interchange. Heading under 405. right by the 522 and still along the Sammamish River. It's really beautiful. Today we're about to cross a bridge. We're going to go under a trestle 
I don't know if you can see this artwork at the bottom. It's pretty cool. Frogs and turtles and ducks. We're at the Wilmot Gateway Park and we just crossed under some railroad trestles. The Wilmot Gateway Park looks to me like a little train station with lots of benches and picnic tables under kind of a train station style cover. Just really nice considering how much rain we get in the northwest here. You can come down and enjoy a picnic pretty much any time. Just beautiful. I am charmed. I'm definitely coming back to this one. This is just a fabulous trail following this Sammamish River all along. If you go slow enough, you are going to see wildlife along the Sammamish River Trail here as well. There is a nice big turtle out there. We've been seeing a lot of ducks. Four and a half miles. Five point six four. Still following this calm, beautiful river. I hear it's all countryside 6.26 we're just going under another bridge seven point four eight still just right along this river. This is truly a levee trail. 7.8, nope, 7.9 in. And there's this neat little um, bridge that we're not gonna cross because we're going this way. We're about 2.3 from Marymore Park. And this has been a really, um, you know, truly like a railroad grade trail, even though it's a levee trail. Levees weren't known for their ups and downs either, but I really wasn't sure if it stayed on the levee the whole time. It sure has. Just beautiful. 8.67 miles. And we're right in Redmond here. We're now going through a kind of forested area, but I can still see that river on my right. 8.92 miles. We've only got just a little over a mile. It's Mary Moore. The bee hit my forehead. 9.1. Under another bridge. Nine. Got 9.2 right now. Just want to get some more of this canal. You probably won't feel much on the way back. In here, 9.42, and we're veering to the left. Following, actually, Yep, we're going across a bridge. I am 9.7 miles in and I'm about to go under 520. On your left. Coming up on Marymore. This concrete wall is a definite opportunity for some local art, I would think. This would be a great place for a mural. 10.13. Crossing the Sammamish again. We're in the beginning of Marymore Park. I've only ever come here for the dog park. 
and I see a sign that says Chomp Festival happening, which to me sounds like food, and I'm hungry, so I think we're gonna go look for that food. I can smell something. Just coming into Miramar Park, and they have this little fix-it station. That's pretty neat. A little wrench and a bike pump. <laughs> yeah, an Allen wrench set. That's great. Everything you need. And we are at Chomp Fest bike parking and check out all the bikes here. Some really cool ones. All right, we're back at Blythe Park. That was a fantastic ride, 21.61 miles round trip. And I think it was 87 feet of elevation gain total. I knew it felt flat. I didn't realize it was that flat. Um, really easy ride and really beautiful scenery, a lot of nature. It really follows that river the whole way, which is really nice.